Lionel started its zero gauge program in 1915, but produced only electric locomotives for the first 15 years. In 1930, they introduced the first steam models as a cheaper version in form of the 258 with a reverse unit and the 257 without. first models had a die-cast frame and sheet metal boiler and cabin. The previously produced electric locomotives were all made of sheet metal and Lionel used the same molding press tools for the first steamers. The 260E was their top model in the first year 1930. In early days, Lionel sold its trains around its production site in the New York area, where electric locomotives were common. In the 1930s, they sold their trains all over the country, where steam engines were more common. So they introduced new models, like the 261. The first steam locomotives were rather toys than realistic models. They were decorated with brass, copper or nickel accessories. All sheet metal trains, except for the 257-258, ran on 12 wheels, thus had a 2x2 wheel arrangement. The 259 was an inexpensive model, a set with three cars sold for 1075, while the top of the line, the 260E, sold as a set for 35. If you compare these to today's income value, it would be equivalent to almost a thousand for the cheap model and more than three thousand for the 260E.
255 was not sold separate, but only in three sets. You will see the most expensive one, which sold for 3250. In 1935, Lionel also introduced the whistle tender. Listen to the sound. The 263 model was sold as the zero gauge version of the Blue Comet, which was introduced in standard gauge three years earlier. The original Blue Comet was the Speed Jersey Central Express that ran to Atlantic City. This model was introduced in the same year as the Scale Hudson, which is a very realistic cast model of the J1E class of New York Central's world famous Hudson engines. In comparison, the sheet metal trains like the 249 looked like toys. This was the last model of a sheet metal Lionel train, sold only in 1941, kind of a dinosaur, when compared to the scale Hudson or the realistic switches. It did not appear in the catalogue. Maybe Lionel was not too proud of it. And with this, the area of sheet metal Lionel trains ended.